Well, hello, my friends. This is Gladys from Gladys Garden in Heart of a Gypsy. Thanks to all of you for stopping by uh, to my channel. And today I come to you to share with you a project that um, it's precisely made for a swab that is going on in my um, Facebook group, which is um, Heart of a Gypsy Soul Designs. And we are making this beautiful little um, needle book. Uh, book. And uh, I've created this a while back and I shared it with my um, Facebook uh, group and I don't think I, I shared it in uh, YouTube yet. Um, but anyway, so we're going to do this as a swap and I'm going to do just a, a, a mini uh, tutorial. Everybody else in my group already has the pictures but for you guys I'll go ahead and open it up. So this is what it looks like on the outside. Let me open it up. I think it's very cute. And it measures um, four and a half wide or tall by eight exactly wide. That's how you're going to cut it, okay? So I'll kind of quickly give you the rundown what it looks like inside. And I'll put some more pictures of this later on. There it is. You fill it up with all the goodies, you know, like your, your safety pins, your needles, uh, regular head pins. All kinds of goodies. So it's, it makes a really good gift and it's just gorgeous to own anyways. Um, I didn't even know this thing existed to be honest until I saw a couple of ladies on uh, YouTube making them. And yes, it is my new addiction. No doubt about it. Um, but I absolutely love them. And I do keep this in my, I have a sewing basket and I keep it there. Um, but, you know, who wouldn't want to keep this? Who wouldn't want to receive this as a gift, too? So it's an awesome little project. And what's wonderful about it is it's not difficult whatsoever. So I just finished another one right now. And I've taken pictures of all the steps. And you'll have all that information, you know, after this um, uh, little video here. <clears throat> but it's quite simple. And, yes, I did use the sewing machine, so don't get scared. I know a lot of people that do not sew, they feel like, oh, my goodness, well, if there's any sewing involved, I'm out. Not necessarily. You can do all this with a running stitch, too, because what we're using is felt. Um, so it's so easy, really, to, to go ahead and, and do it together. So um, let me kind of give you the rundown. And all this is in the pictures in the tutorial, but I'll just kind of uh, explain a little bit here. So you're going to cut whatever material you have. Sorry, I keep going over to reach over to get this. Um, I'm cutting several because I'm going to have about three of them on my Etsy for sale. Um, they're going to look like this. Obviously, this is not embellished yet. It's just a shell, and I have to embellish the whole thing but you're going to need your piece of material and they're all going to be cut at the same size except at the end you need an extra little piece that could be any size and I'll tell you about it. Um, so eight uh, wide by four and a half tall. So you're cutting your material. You are cutting whatever piece of lace is going to be covering that material which is going to be like this. Then you're going to need three pieces of felt cut at the same size as the rest of the other materials which is eight by four and a half. You need to have three of them. First step that you're going to do is going to go ahead and do a running stitch over this over your lace or whatever layers you have your lace over your material and if you don't if you you know want to use something else you don't want to use print or you just want to use a basic uh, solid material and put different um, you know layers of laces perfect that's okay too but you have to add them to that material first before you add them to your felt okay so you do that and if you don't have a sewing machine or you don't sew do a running stitch the other thing that you can do it's you can use a liquid glue that is for fabric I do not know how bulky that may get because you're going to do several, you know, of them. So just trial and error. I would do a running stitch. Everybody knows how to do that. That's just probably simpler and it's not going to come apart. Once you have added this to it, then go ahead and add any other 
um, you know, trims or laces that you want to put onto that you know it's going to be on the outside. The example here is I, after I, you know, put this lace over the material or the fabric, I added this uh, trim at the end. So you're going to do that before you add it to your felt also. And once it is done, sewn that piece up to this lace and that piece added to the fabric, then you go ahead and add it to your first piece of felt, only to the first one. Leave the other two aside. Once you have put that together, you're going to cut any piece of trim. It could be the same thing as this one or it could be another one. Sorry for the glare. I'm trying to... Um, I'm doing this on my iPad because I want to load up uh, as fast as I can. Um, anyway, so get any, any other trim, a piece of lace that is at least one inch wide. Center it right here in the middle and just kind of put it in there with some pins so you can hold on to it. Then on the other side, you go ahead and add your two pieces left of felt, which is right here. Okay, and then center them again, put them in there, and then you cut an extra little piece that could be just as wide or just as long as this. it doesn't matter, it just has to be a smaller piece. And center it in the middle too, just hook it with pins so it'll stay there, and then run three. I did three running stitches with my sewing machine. You could just do two if you wanted to. I did three, that's just me, but you you don't have to do three as long as it's in the middle right there. So this creates your little spine, you know, for your book, right there for your little needle uh, book. After this, um, or actually before you do all this, as you can tell the edges, I used a um, zigzag scissors. Uh, so if you have them, use them. It just kind of looks nice. It looks, it makes it more, you know, sewing looking project. So I use that. You don't have to. This is just what I did. So once you have run that, that stitch in there, now you end up with your three pages or, or six uh, pages little book, actually, because we did three layers. So one layer, two, and three, and this is just a little, little extra right here. So at this point, <clears throat> your book, really, it's done. All you have to do is do any embellishments, create... Um, I know I'm going to create a pocket in here, and I am going to use, let me see, there it is. I'm trying not to move so fast so you guys don't get dizzy. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use this very wide um, cut and lace that I have in here, and I'm going to fold the corners right here, and I'm actually going to hot glue that puppy. And I'm going to do this, fold this other corner so it creates this nice edge right here same thing over let me bring this up same thing over here and this makes me my pocket right here which is right here let me show it to you it makes this pocket then after that you know put any dilly dallies anywhere uh, with the same um, leftovers of your fabrics create little pockets here and there whatever that you want really I created a little pocket here for the scissors. It, there is no rhyme or reason as to where to put things, just wherever you want to. See, this one I sewn it just on the side, so you could do that later on too. Um, I did another pocket here in the back. In the back. Um, and I don't think you want to get it bulkier than this. Um, I think this is, a, this is bulky enough already as it is. Um, I made these flowers for this um, particular little book. You don't have to make them. You can just buy them and put some in there. Uh, but at this point, your book is done. So I'll go ahead and load up the rest of the pictures and all the information that you can print out in order for you to follow. But here is your little sewing um, or needle, uh, vintage needle book. And it's all done, finished. It looks quite cute. And I'm going to go ahead and embellish now and take lots of pictures so you guys can enjoy them. Thanks so much, and I hope you've enjoyed this, and I hope it wasn't too rushed. Uh, give me, let me, um, let me know if you have any questions or any comments or anything. Let me know, okay? Take care. Bye-bye.